Hey, it's Pat here, and in this video, I'm gonna up-level your Zoom presence so you look like a pro in front of your audience. Now, one way to do that is through having multiple camera angles, right? A top-down view if you're doing something on your desk, or maybe just a separate camera to mix it up a little bit and add a little bit of flavor. Unfortunately, doing this in Zoom is kind of burdensome, right? You have to go down here, not click stop video on accident, go to the right camera, and boom, there we go. And if I wanna switch back, okay, I have to go, okay, let me go over here, and then I gotta go back here, and you might click the wrong one, like that one, or you might click the FaceTime cam and people are looking up your nose, and that's not what we want. I want it to be as simple as a click of a button, like this, we're talking, we're still going, and we're gonna go over here now, and without missing a beat, we can just switch between camera angles. Another thing that is painful in Zoom is when you have to share your screen, right? You go, okay, I'm gonna share my screen, so hold on, let, like, pause what you're doing as I figure this out, and then you have to go, okay, you're gonna open up Chrome, but then you gotta go back to the Zoom, and then you gotta hit screen share, and then you gotta click on Google Chrome, and then finally you're there, but then there's things in the way. It's just, again, very burdensome. What if you just literally pushed a button and you were able to share that screen? And maybe you wanted to pop up on the bottom left-hand corner like you see there, or maybe not. Maybe you can take yourself off just like that. Again, super simple, and you can go back to face really quick without skipping a beat. And then finally, what if you just wanted to pop up some graphics on the screen, like on Zoom, like your podcast graphics here, or maybe you have a book that you wanna promote. Yeah, super fans, go and check it out. It's super easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that right now. The magic tool we're gonna use for this is called Ecamm Live. This is a Mac-only tool, but it's one of my all-time favorite tools in the world. What's neat about this is, yes, you can use this to stream to places like Facebook or YouTube, but you could also use this as a virtual webcam or a virtual camera. What that basically means is that when you are in something like Zoom, you can select Ecamm Live as a webcam. What that does is everything that happens here in Ecamm Live, all the overlays that we use, all the different scenes that we select, that all gets pushed through into wherever you are broadcasting using the Ecamm Live virtual cam. So as you can see here, we have several scenes set up already. We have face cam one, which is where we're on right now. If I click the play button on camera two and switch to the second scene here, you'll see the second camera. And this is just my phone connected to the laptop here through a tool called Camo, which I highly enjoy as well. Then I have the third scene here, which is computer. And if I click on that, you'll probably just see the background. Yep, there's the background, hello. And there we go back to face cam one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a third camera to show you just exactly how this works. So let's get my Sony ZV-1 here on my switch pod and set this up. I'm going to connect the USB here so it connects to my computer and I'm gonna turn it on. You'll see a new video sort of pop up here below in the selection area. And there it is, that's the ZV-1. Now I could click on this right now and see it, which I will do so you can just see and there's my hand right there. Hello. But I don't wanna do that because I have face cam one here set as the face cam. So I'm gonna go back to the camera that it should be. So the way to properly do this is to have another scene. So let's create another scene. This is like right in my face. Okay, I'm gonna hit the plus empty scene and I'm gonna name it ZV1. I could name it camera three, whatever I wanna name it. And it could be in any order that you want. That doesn't really matter, but I'll put it down here just for uh, organizational purposes. And now when I go to ZV1, I wanna click the ZV1. So there we go, that is the third scene. So camera one, hello. Camera two, what up? And ZV1, there we go. Now we have a third camera. So let me set it up here for right now, just so we can all see each other. And that's cool. And the cool thing about this in particular is it's a point and shoot. So I can literally move it around if I have things I wanna show people in my office or little things that I'm building right in front of me. Maybe it's a top-down camera. So you can have multiple cameras. And again, this gets fed through into Zoom. Let me show you. Hello, this is the third camera. And again, if I click down here, you'll see it's just the Ecamm Live virtual cam because everything that happens in Ecamm gets fed through here into Zoom or wherever else you wanna select a webcam. Now, I haven't yet answered the question, well, how do we do this on the fly? How do we switch cameras without having to go into Ecamm Live or switch between cameras in Zoom? Well, I'll get to that in just a moment, but I'm gonna show you also how to set up your computer sharing so that you don't have to go through that fuss within Zoom when you share your computer. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna have whatever I wanna share available. Let's click on Ecamm Live to bring that forward. And now you wanna set up your computer scene. Now, this is already here, but I can set up another one for you. I'm gonna go to plus sign, computer two, just so you know it's different. I'm gonna click on that to make sure it's highlighted. It is, and I'm gonna click on computer, which is not any of these. These are from the cameras. I wanna click on my computer screen, which is right here. There's camera, there is share screen, and there's also video file. You can li literally play a video file that's loaded into here as well if you wanted to, but we're just gonna do share screen, and you'll see there it is now. 
Now I also have an overlay down here, which I can turn on and off right here if I wanted to. And I can have it show the current application. I can have it show the primary display or something else. So you get to choose in this scene, which thing you want to show. And that's it. And if I go back to camera two, there we are right there. And we go back to computer two, there we are. And then finally with overlays, you wanna open up the overlay section here. And this is where you can drag and drop literally anything like an image or even an animated GIF. And then it just pops up on the screen and you can choose to turn it on and off. Like for example, if I choose this one with the book, there it is on, there it is off, just the eyes crossed off. Now the eyes on, I could see it. There we go, easy to do. And let me just find a new image really quick. Let's bring over my logo from Deep Pocket Monster. All right, there we go, it's right there. And I can move it around, I can adjust it and move it, move it a little bit. And let's put it right there in the corner and there it is. And I can turn it on and off like that if I wanted to. So let's say you are talking about a particular brand, you're talking about a particular topic or you have a picture of something you wanna share. Hey, here I am at the Christmas party. You can pop it up here on Ecamm Live and hey, there it is in Zoom for everybody to see at the same time without the fuss. Pat, you didn't tell us how to turn these overlays on and off or switch between cameras really quick like a push of a button. Well, you made it, here we go. Let's talk about that. Introducing the Stream Deck. This is a piece of hardware that you get that you put in your desk and literally you can have these buttons do all these things we just talked about and definitely way more for sure. So here's the setup that I have, right? Lights, Pokemon cards back there. So this is the iPhone that I was using for camera two. That's camera one right there. And we have the Sony ZV-1, which was camera three. But this is what's doing all the magic right here. This is a Stream Deck XL. This has uh, four times eight, 32 buttons. And the normal one I think is 15. There's also a 24, I think. There's there's three different sizes. But anyway, don't mind, them. don't mind me. But let me show you how easy this is. I have it set up. So this is camera one and this is camera two, watch. Hello, camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, camera one. Camera one. Oh, I am on camera one. Okay, cool, we're good there. Now, what if I wanted to go to my computer? Well, I have that one over here. Watch. Computer. Let's go back to camera one. There we go. I also have the overlays on here. Here's my book overlay and my podcast episodes, right? So watch. Book, book go away. Podcast, podcast. It's as simple as that. Okay, so let me show you how to set this up. We're gonna add a new scene into the Elgato Stream Deck so I can push button, easily go to now camera number three or the Sony ZV-1 that I just did uh, or that, that I just set up. All right, so I'm gonna open up Stream Deck. When you install it on your computer, it gives you this nice little toolbar area up top and I'm gonna configure the Stream Deck. There we go. And as you can see, these buttons match the ones that were on my actual hardware which is really, really nice. Now I wanna add a scene three here with that ZV-1. So now that this is installed, you'll see that there's an Ecamm Live and you will have to install that once you get the Stream Deck. Uh, you can just integrate it with Ecamm Live. It's very simple to do. And now I can drag and drop and run new scene. So watch, I'm gonna drag and drop, run new scene right there. And I'm gonna make sure I select the correct scene. Here are the other scenes. Remember computer two, we made that during this video too, but I'm gonna click ZV-1. I'm also going to name this camera three. Uh, actually, let's just make it three. And I'm also gonna blow up that text and you'll see what happens. You see how the text is getting bigger? But guess what's cool? It's also already added right there. Can you see that? It's kind of, there we go. It's already added there. So when we now click on, let me click over here. When we now click on three, hello camera two, and one. It was that simple. Now let's do the Deep Pocket Monster overlay. So I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna go back to Stream Deck and I'm gonna go to Show or Hide Overlay. And I'm gonna put that right here. And I'm going to select DPM Circle Logo Tricolor Final. Just call it DPM. I'm gonna blow that up a little bit so it's a little bit bigger and I can see it with my eyes. And there you go, you should have seen it just pop up right away there it is dpm and again if we click on that right there let's remove the stream deck right there you see it right there there it is it's that simple so ecamm live in the virtual webcam along with the stream deck 
is the most beautiful combo in the world when it comes to impressing those who are watching you on the other end. Maybe you're in a meeting, you wanna show off something, or you're presenting in front of tens of maybe hundreds of people, tens of hundreds, thousands, maybe tens of thousands, who knows? But you can take and up-level your Zoom really quick by doing this kind of stuff. I have links to all the things that we're using here and PC equivalents as well. I'll probably do a more PC specific version using a tool called OBS, which allows you to do a virtual cam setup in a very similar way and also integrates with Stream Deck 2. There's affiliate links down below. I get a little kickback if you go through them for Ecamm Live as well as for the Stream Deck and also for Camo, which I'll talk about later as well to connect your iPhone as a second webcam so that you don't have to go buy an, another one. Your phone yours is gonna be much better anyway. So check out Camo, check out Ecamm Live, and obviously check out the Stream Deck from Elgato as well. All the links down below. Thank you so much. Hit subscribe because I got more stuff to help you upgrade your content on the internet. I got you.